I'm back. Hey, hey, I'm back. Blah. Ew. Talking like that hurt my throat. Yes, I don't have one of my own. I would scarcely ever need such a thing. Pinky was kind enough to let me borrow it for the day. Not to sound pushy, but we really must get going. I need to get this delivery out immediately. We can chat along the way if you'd like. I do so enjoy good conversation. Oh, I love to get hooked up. Like, like, I'm scum. I'm not too some scum. Is that all right? Can you manage? Oh, wait, hold up. What is wrong with your neck? My God, it's like, look at it. It's, the fuck? It's. Are you okay? Do you need a doctor? I'm having, ow, I hurt my head pretending to have a panic attack! <laughs> hey, you don't know how powerful my magic is. Fine. Thank you, but please don't strain yourself. I wouldn't want you getting hurt on my account. My client demanded dresses that would stun, so naturally I spared no expense. Each dress is studded with gems. A single dress weighs barely anything, but collectively they can be quite heavy. Uh huh. You say you just moved in. But if you just bought a bed for me today. Where in Equestria did you sleep? Saddlebags? That is no place for a proper unicorn to sleep. Yes. You really should have come to me sooner, darling. Oh, I would have gladly let you use a bed at the boutique. Yes, yes. Not for a unicorn, but for one of those... Oh, oh, no, I just started. Okay. Okay, so I've got like ten minutes left. Okay, but for one of those filthy fucking... fucking horse flies or, or mud ponies. Hey, guys. I stole that joke. Did you, did you know I stole that joke? Did you? Did you? Did you? I bet you did. Well, at least for your first night in Ponyville until you could get a bed to your new home. <laughs> thank you, Rarity. That's very generous. You really don't need to thank me. It's what a proper lady would do. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. Let's okay, learn. How about we take a break for a minute? Looks like the cart is starting to get rather cumbersome. It isn't too much further. By the way, by the way, you happen to attend school in Canterlot? Did you ever know someone named Twilight Sparkle? Oh, sound familiar? Like, save the world three times is the fucking student of the princess familiar? Nah. Who, who remember a stupid fan like that? I know, I'm a little bitter about it, but... That's just who I am. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm sure you'll meet her eventually. She's another one of my best friends. If you went to school in Cantalot, you and her may have a lot to talk about. I was probably the one that was like, hey, hey, hey. You're... Why did they pick on her? Ready to get going? She, she, she has the power to destroy... I mean, I'm pretty sure there's not a single person besides, you know, Celestia, Luna, and Cadence. Here we are. And maybe and Shining that, that could stop right her if she went mad. I'll have it unloaded. Excuse me while I head inside and take care of the postage. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it for, that for a moment. It wasn't that big of a place. Hey! And, uh, it's that new pony! What the fuck was that? It's that new pony, sister dear! Like, hold on a minute. I done thought y'all was talking like me. No, no, quite the opposite. In fact, I do believe I'm speaking like a proper lady. <laughs> Over there, over yonder, that pony shall cometh along the way. She shall cometh and seeth our apples, such delectable divine beauty such as they. Can, I, can if you not hear the sounds of my gently rhymes? 
that I keep it with such merry pace and excellent time. Is that new pony? I'll say, I'll say, what the fuck is new pony, remember me? No! Yup, that's me! And ah. here are my friends, Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo! Oh my god, the exposition train! It has come! <laughs> I'm playing. Oh my god, I know it's not fucking exposition, but. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you hear that? That's all the fucks I'm giving right now. And it sounds like a harpiscord. Is that a harpiscord? It's kind of harpiscordy. I wouldn't know. Well, that's a dumb man. I could be a bitch. I feel like playing like a bitch. I'm gonna play like a bitch my next playthrough. I don't know if I'll be let's playing it though, cause you know. I don't even think I'm going to do any more Reseteer beyond... Well, okay, but <laughs> I already finished Reseteer, and I'm going to upload all the videos. What I meant is I don't know if I'm going to keep going. Oh, you'll find out in the fucking video. Don't even worry about it. I just stay out of trouble. That's really neat. Yeah, I'll patronize the dumb brat. Yeah, we get into all sorts of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes we get into stuff we probably shouldn't have. Do you so what? You never see Rainbow Dash backing down from trouble. <laughs> what? 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 She sounds like a badass woman! What is this shit? Like, they got like, uh, I'll just get anybody, I don't fucking care. I mean, okay, not the hate, like, I know you can't fucking just find fucking great a voice actors, but, look, she's not even trying! Like, okay, but in my defense, I mean, in her defense, Scootaloo in the show sounds like a grown-ass fucking woman. But I'm like, who the fuck is that? Scootaloo, you're a fucking child. Kitty, my before you know. Pinky brought this over to my sisters this morning. Are you working for my sister? Birdie is your sister? Do look a lot of, really? Cause I don't fucking see it. Like the family never looks like family. Like you supposed to be the same person? I don't fucking, I don't fucking know. You supposed to be fucking from the fucking same fucking stone? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Your mother was a whore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Every pony in Ponyville is just a massive whore and can never fucking stay with one man. <laughs> even the twins came out looking not the same. <laughs> like, uh, how did you even manage that? Da. <laughs> I was a massive whore. I got fucked by multiple men, and it's just how it happened. Yeah, she's my big sister. Are you working for her? Maybe she's Rarity's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was just so bad. She's just Rarity's girlfriend. <laughs> like, not even trying. Not even. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be mean because these are my fucking Pegasisters here. But I have to be. This is who I am. I mock everything I come across. Not not just because because it's funny to me. It's funny to me to be an asshole. Not 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 for you. Okay. I don't care about you. I care about me, guys. God. Fucking ego took us. To, to fucking assholes. Fucking, who you calling an asshole? You can't even pronounce egotistical, you stupid bitch. <laughs> like, hey, hey, stop it. <laughs> I don't know, I'd hit that. You look like you might know about fashion and all that beauty stuff. I'd hit that. That's right, you're new in town. So I guess you're trying to earn up some bits. <gasps> if you'd like, you could ask my sister if she needs any help down at the farm. Her and Big Macintosh are always super busy. Oh no, sounds like they're the earth uh, mud pony business. I reckon they could use a helping hoof. Huh? Maybe that will get us our cutie marks. Cutie mark crusader job finders. Uh, she did a little bit better. You didn't say yay! It's Cutie Mark Crusaders! Insert something here. Yay! And then it can't be just a normal yay. It has to be the dopiest layer. Yay! 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 Oh, what was that all about? Why do I have a bad feeling all of a I'm sudden? Done. 
Huh. My, my, my plot senses are tingling. I sense a disturbance in the plot. My god. Stay up, Doom, that's all. Oh, I wish I could see their faces when they lay eyes on such stunning works of art. Huh. Such is the business when my clients are from out of town. Shall we head back to the boutique? Yeah, baby. Let's do this. Level 34. Okay, okay. Here we are. You can just leave the cart there behind the boutique. Thank you so much for helping me on such short notice. I was really in a pinch there for a moment. I simply had to get that order out today. And I didn't know of any pony that would have been able to help. Of course, you'll be wanting your pay. Here you are. Actually, dear, I need help quite often. Oh, why don't you give me your address? That way I can send you a letter should I ever be in need of assistance. How big is this town? First on any work I need done. How big is this town that you need to send a letter to someone? Because I've seen, I feel like I've seen the entire town. In like a fucking just a single shot. And I thought, wow, even my fat ass could get around this bitch. <laughs> I'm like, wow, even I can get from place to place without getting completely lost. <laughs> you didn't want to know. I I don't even I don't even fucking go places. I'm like, I'm too scared. I'm like, I ain't coming back alive if I'm going anywhere <laughs> alone. <laughs> I'll be like, man, what does the map say? <laughs> I pull up, hey, where am I? Hey, yeah, I'm Canada, eh? <laughs> right, fuck it. Give okay. me a hockey stick. I got this. <laughs> but of course. Bye bye now. What's really wrong about here? She's very generous. Really? I want to add, but I'm fuck that bad. I don't, I don't even know what the point of this game is. To be in Ponyville? <laughs> derpy, 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 derpy. Yeah, I do that, uh, all the time. YES! Oh, um, did you order a bed? You're d Come on! Do like the original Derby! You have to put a little stupid list on it! I'm sorry! I just don't know what went wrong! Come on! Come on! Don't go into that fucking bass ackwards bullshit from fucking... Fucking fi fixing it. Oh, you like Derby the way she- I'm sorry, I'm very opinionated. Oh, give a fuck! Sometimes. I usually deliver the mail, but sometimes I deliver bigger stuff, too. Derpy Mare Mail can deliver anything from a package to a piano. Yep, right on top of someone's head. My god, if this was the real world, she'd been sent to jail for murdering poor Twilight. Her fucking neck should be in, like, fucking 15 different places. Her blood should just be, like, splattered everywhere. Just like, <laughs> like, damn, you got fucked up. <laughs> like, do you know what an anvil to someone's, to the very top of someone's skull from that height would do? That would literally probably just ran, run right through them and, like, just... Down the middle, and then like their the sides would just fall to the sides, like, blah, 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 blah. and their fucking, and their fucking middle would just be ripped downwards and just splattered everywhere. You're a sick, sick person. Anyway, next time on Mr. Conrad the Duck, we find out the secrets of life. There's not a goddamn number. Fucking assholes.